good afternoon. Today we are headed to. I'm gonna try with your glasses. Okay. okay, we're headed to the contemporary. Ooh. And we're going to check into a main tower room, which we have never stayed in. No, we've stayed at Bay Lake Tower. Wow, you look cool, bud. <laughs> we've stayed at Bay Lake Tower and we loved it, but this is our very first time staying at the Contemporary. And now they have the Incredibles themed rooms. So we're so, aren't we so excited to see what they're gonna have that's Incredibles themed? And we have a theme park view room. So yeah. this might be one of the first times that Jackson gets to see fireworks. You excited, bud? We'll see if he can stay up late enough. If not, he'll see them one day. But right. Yeah, I cannot wait. And this will be the first time that I've ever eaten Steakhouse 71. Oh yeah. Which is the new restaurant at the Contemporary and everybody has raved about it. You have, literally everybody that I've ever talked to about it said it's like one of the best restaurants. So I'm so excited. It's very good. Yeah, so should we get in the car and go? Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're making our way onto Walt Disney World property. The most magical place on earth. <laughs> Answer the call. <laughs> Why didn't they hire you to sing the song? That sounds good. Did you see Jordan Fisher? Oh yeah. He tweeted out, he's like, so we like, should bring back Happily Ever After, right? And everybody's like, oh, yes, we should. Oh no. That makes me feel bad for the performers that are singing Enchantment. Yeah. But I, I do miss- I mean, I will say the actual performance is good. The singing is good. The music is good. I just felt that Happily Ever After had more heart okay. than Enchantment does, so it hit me differently. I guess we'll have to see tonight, because we have a theme park's view room, how we feel after listening to the fireworks from our balcony. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if we have, have a balcony. Are there balconies? Yeah, there are balconies. Yeah, we do. Okay. Right? I don't know. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. What did you see, buddy? I saw the monorail. You saw the monorail? What's the monorail? It's going, going to go to, to yeah, it's going to the park. Oh, it's going to Epcot. It is. But we're going to the Contemporary. There it is. That's where we're going. Disney's Contemporary Resort. Sorry, this road's a little bumpy. There it is. That's the, hotel. the sign is, that is the hotel. All right, we're just going up to tell them we're staying here. Please let us in. Right, bud? Yeah. And it looks like we will have a balcony. That's so exciting. But it does also look like the view from Bay Lake Tower is better than this view will be. I guess we'll see when we get up there. But this looks like more of a straight on like view of the fireworks over here at Bay Lake. All right, we're up on the seventh floor. So I think we have a pretty good view of everything that's gonna be going on, especially fireworks tonight over at Magic Kingdom, which you can't see right now, but it's beyond those trees. We also put in our order for Steakhouse 71, and I was sad to see that you can't order everything to go. Right. And that makes sense, I understand, but I really wanted to try the French onion soup, and I get that that would be a hard thing to do to go, so I hope we can eat there like inside one day so I can try it. Yeah, excellent. Inside the elevators here, each floor has a different Disney character saying what floor you're on. So like cool. we might have Mickey say it or Goofy say it. Who do you think is going to say it? Um, Mickey. Mickey? You think it'll be Mickey? We'll find out. The new artwork in the lobby. Jackson, how many legs does this goat have? Five? What? How does that goat have five legs? <laughs> Alright buddy, we're going up one more floor. We just heard Mickey say the sixth floor. Good We're job. going to the seventh. What do you think? Who do you think's gonna say it? Let's listen. Whee! Let's listen. Whee! You sound like Daddy. The seventh floor. Oh, it's Mickey it. again. It We're in the main lobby it's here. It's yeah, it's wrist. on your wrist. You're that band. Oh. This is our room right here. Whoa. <laughs> and look, we already get the incredible steaming outside. Ooh, nice. Yeah, just push your little. Can you reach? Do you need me to hold you? Let me hold you up then. I don't know if Jackson's will work for it, but let's see. Let's see, bud. Other way. Other side. To, where the circle is. Oh, it worked. Oh, open let's it up. open the door. Let's open the door. Hi. All right, let's have a look inside of our incredible themed room in the main tower of Disney's Contemporary Resort. Let me give you a first impression of the main living area. I like it. I like that it's all retro mod. It's such a cool look. All right, then we'll back up a little bit and we'll start off with the bathroom. So the bathroom's not 
like as as retro modern as the rest of the room but it's still nice i like this mirror a lot like this design down the mirror it, it's the monorail like that's way cool and that is the contemporary is the monorail theme the shower is a normal sized tub but the shower itself is kind of oversized and it has a handheld shower head and kind of like a rainfall type shower head and then one thing that I was confused about is this is a deluxe resort and I thought the deluxe resorts didn't have the shampoo and conditioner and body wash bolted to the wall like this I thought you got small little containers like this but I guess not I guess this is the extra stuff that you get mouthwash everybody gets body lotion I guess you just get mouthwash here as like an extra for being in a deluxe resort which is, I don't know, it's a little bit strange to me because I thought that that was one of the, the perks of staying in a deluxe was you don't have these bolted, bolted to the wall like this. Uh, underneath we've got some washcloths and hand towels and extra towels over there. A couple of towel bars. A makeup mirror. This is a, like, a, it's, a, it's an outlet, of course, but it is a nightlight too, and I don't know if it'll turn on while we're in here because it's still there it's kind of like kind of lit up a little bit because it's still daytime out let me close the door try to make it dark there we go now you can see it's a little nightlight Ooh, there's a second switch it puts like a light behind the mirror and then behind me is the area with the toilet pretty awesome artwork in here you've got all the different stages of jack jack all of his different superpowers and then down here at the very bottom there's like a baby Edna mode which is amazing another th another thing that I like is that there's a lot of towel hooks all over this bathroom oh this is neat too so it's got pocket doors but there's two of them and they meet in the center and so you only have to actually close one for both to close oh it's kind of hard to open And then as we turn across from the bathroom is this kind of like a closet. Uh, we've got all of our stuff inside of there right now. I do like that the lights turn on when you open the doors. So up on the top shelf, we've got extra pillows and blankets, a uh, hair dryer, a handheld steamer, which is something interesting that Disney has started doing is they're not giving you an iron, they're giving you a handheld steamer now. I like that the incredible super suits are in here, hanging up inside of this closet. And there's all of our stuff, of course. Uh, let's see, they're all of their gloves and masks are up top here. And then there's just some extra storage down here, some drawers for your stuff. And then right next to it is another very large door, which just has your safe and some more storage. There's a lot of storage in this room. A little access panel back there. I wonder what's behind there. It's like a secret compartment. And then right next door, we've got a little shelf here with some more storage. And then the coffee maker, it's a Keurig coffee maker. And it does come with Keurig pods in here decaf coffee, some green tea, some English breakfast tea, and then the 50th anniversary Joffrey's blend. Underneath here, this is not a refrigerator. They call it a beverage cooler. So if you need, like it, it doesn't go below 41 degrees. So if you need a colder refrigerator, it says to contact the front desk for assistance. I like these. It's like design back here, these coffee mugs. You see an Edna Mode coffee mug, a happy platter, and then up top, some drinks, some cocktails. Uh, you could get an adjoining room here. We didn't, we just have one room. And now on to the main living area here. We've got a Frozone pillow on one bed, and the beds are like lifted up, so there is some more storage underneath. The floor is this kind of tile, but there is a rug in the center. The other bed has an Edna Mode pillow on it. This is way cool. Check this out. There's a lamp here. Let me see if I can turn it on. Yeah. Kind of like an Incredibles meets the monorail theme. 
That's neat. Also, I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, but there are USBs all over the place. There's two here, two on that side of the bed. Where are they? Yeah, two on that side of the bed, as well as two plugs over here. Uh, there's also reading lights on either side of both beds. And then I think there's also USBs over here. Yeah, two more plugs and two more USBs over here. I like this archway around the window. Like I said, it feels very retro modern. And then check out the design in this sun curtain. We got the Incredibles eye, and then we have all of the different Incredibles. You got Jack Jack and Dash and Violet, and then Mrs. Incredible and Mr. Incredible. All in their silhouettes on this window shade. Their their like masks are over here behind the TV, a fairly large TV. I feel like this is like a 50 inch TV which is pretty big for this kind of, it's kind of a small size room. One table, no other chairs other than just this couch thing here. But this is, oh, check out this little roundy pillow. It's got their masks on it too. That's really fun. This is also a bed. Let's see if I can get it to open up. Oh, there you go. This is another bed here. Kind of easy to use as well. Only thing I don't like about this is the size of the gap back there. Pretty big gap for like, if you have your phone in the bed, it's gonna go down there. So I don't think we're gonna put Jackson on this bed. I think he's gonna be in this queen size bed over here. A little like ottoman here for, oh, I guess this would be the other chair for the table maybe, right? And I like that it has its own little space, like its own little like hidey spot. Some plugs over here. I'm not seeing any USBs for this bed. And then I'm gonna get to my favorite part here, this lamp. This lamp is amazing. I love it so much. Looks like a rocket ship. Let's turn it on and see how it looks. Oh, there's the USBs right there. Ooh, you just touch it. Okay, that's awesome. I like it. All right, so yeah, that's the entire room. Oh, did you see the Incredibles emblem in the rug? Oh, this is weird. The like floor slopes up here, leading up to the window. All right, so I'm gonna back up, see if I can give you guys, and I like the little like, the pinstripe detail around the outside of the room. It's a very nice room. Let's go outside and have a look at our view. Oh, before I do that, let me close the blackout curtains. Yeah, look, there's Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, or Elastigirl. Frozone over here. Who's on the other curtain? Oh, okay. Kind of hard to see Jack-Jack up there. This is Violet. And then there's Dash down there. It's neat, I like that. All right, let's have a look outside. First thing that I wanna say before going out on this balcony, shout out to Disney for putting a high up latch that kids can't get to because like now it's locked, but just on this upper one up here. So, unlocked it, let's head out. There's a couple of chairs and a table here. Oh, it's hot. There's a convention center over there. Seven Seas Lagoon. You can see Polynesian and Grand Floridian over there because those are both on the monorail beam. And then we point towards oh, monorail. Magic Kingdom. Oh look, the Tron canopy is all inflated. I hope we get to see it lit up tonight. This is actually a really interesting view of Magic Kingdom. Cause like we said, over at Bay Lake, you're kind of a little bit more off to the side. This we're kind of like, not dead on, but I mean like we're more forward of it. So fireworks are probably gonna be maybe like over Space Mountain here for us. This is good. This is very cool. Well, well there you have it. That was our Incredibles themed room now. Jen's coming back up with some dinner from Steakhouse 71, which I'm very excited for. Oh, I forgot to look in here. Look at this. Things to do, take out the trash, learn new math, call Rick D back, buy more cookies, stop the underminer, research adolescence, ask E to babysit. I think that's talking about Edna. Go bowling with Lucius. Take Incredible, Incredible, how do you say that? The Incredible, like the Incredmobile, for a tune-up. And then there's a little cool remote for the house and for the car. 
and the boat. What do you think this button means? Huh. And then his glasses and some cookie in there. He's still trying to figure out new math for life. Oh, I just noticed that the headboards are like this cushy headboard. That's nice. Yeah, pillows are nice. Ooh, like patent leather. Does it have anything on the back? No, it's just Edna. And this one's just Frozone. Yeah. I don't know. I really like this room. Oh, there's not like a big blanket or anything here. Hmm. Hopefully the one in the closet will be nice and cushy for us. Jen and Jackson just got back with our food. Look at how many sets of silverware they gave us. They're like, you ordered obviously enough food for 17 people. Oh no. What is it? Seven people. Wow. All right. So here is our food, kind of an overview of it. These I'm excited for. These are their <laughs> potato rolls. So they're like pull apart bread with yeah. sea salt and rosemary. And then it comes with a tomato spread. I think mm. it was like a sun-dried tomato spread and then just butter. Probably not going to do that. I'm going to try it. Uh, and then Jackson got some macaroni and cheese. But his main meal is the kids baked fish and the kids broccoli. This was just mm. like an in case. Yeah, in case he didn't want the fish. <laughs> yeah. And then we got, uh, this is a wedge salad. Yeah. And then I got the filet with mashed potatoes. And then Jen got the filet with potatoes au gratin. Mine looks so much like worse than yours. Yeah, I gotta admit, mine does look a little bit better. <laughs> What's up with that? Do you think they gave me the wrong cut of steak? Wee. No, I don't think so. Are you yeah. sure? It doesn't look like it's gonna be difficult to eat there. Is this the filet? Well, what else would it be? The sirloin? No, it's too small to be the sirloin. Hmm. And then I, they gave me the wrong dessert, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we were supposed to get the ambrosia um, dessert, but they gave us the apple tart tartan. There, are they for you? What? That's for dessert, buddy. You finish your finish your potatoes or your. First yeah, we gotta eat this first. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna dig in. It's so funny because you, we showed you trying to cut the steak, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it was the steak so much of it if, as if it was just the knife. Like, oh, the this plastic. Is, <laughs> it's like not even cutting this lettuce easily. The salad was really good though. Yeah. It was a really good the, wedge salad. The bacon in this salad? Yeah. Delish. That's one thing I was sad that the bacon and eggs, which is one of their really popular, careful buddy. One of their really popular um, items that was brought over from yeah. the wave. They used to have that one at the wave, but they don't offer that as one of the to-go items. Right. And I was like, oh man. <laughs> but I will say my steak is pretty good. It's definitely, I'm excited. Well, I'm, I'm interested to see what yours looks like on the inside. I will say this bread, I feel like was better the last time that I had it. Mm -hmm. Right now it's kind of like dried out. Jackson loves it right now though. Yeah, he does. He also loves, we're watching Mickey Mouse Fun House and he loves that. Right, bud? And the mac and cheese is really good. It's got like a really, really nice, it's like a nice bold flavor. I like it. Mm. And he's been eating his fish. I don't know, it's a really good dinner, like for to-go food, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I think it holds up pretty well to go. Yeah, I think so too. So this is what I got. This is, I ordered the ambrosia, this is not the ambrosia. It's the apple tartan. Apple tartan. I'm assuming I have to put this stuff on top. But I like how it looks like just like sliced apples. That looks nice. Almost looks like it's sitting on an Eggo waffle. <laughs> I don't think it is. But oh, it kind of looks like that, right? That's really funny. And then it has like the fresh fruit and the crumbles. I love yeah. this. Candy glass. That's so pretty. And it has edible flowers. Oh yeah. So That's we're letting Jack. Jackson pick his like icon for my Disney experience. Who are you, you picking? Pick Kermit? <laughs> You want to say it's Kermit? Well, the first person he picked was Donald. Yeah. You like Kermit? <laughs> <laughs> That's Kermit again. <laughs> Lady again. I'll have to what let you know. Wally? We'll have to let you know what he actually ends up picking. Yoda. <laughs> Who is that? Who? Dota. Dota. <laughs> and we're all done with dinner. Now we're taking the trash out to the trash can over here. And we're going to run down to the gift shop. See if we can find a Magic Band Plus for maybe Jackson or Jen. And then we're also going to go over to, there's another shop down there. Because we didn't get any drinks with dinner. We're going to get something to drink. So we figured out the fourth floor is where Contempo Cafe, Chef Mickey's, Outer Rim, BBG, Fantasia, and then there's another store back there. I'm not sure what it's called though. 
That's where they all are. Also, the game station's here. A lot of stuff happening in this hotel. Oh, uh, yeah, they have a lot of the retro merch here. Like, you can get the lunchbox bag or a lunchbox. Oh, and all the America on Parade merch, too. Look at these. These are awesome. I haven't seen this line yet. And the 15 years, this is like a crop top v-neck. Check this one out. That's a license plate. Look at this one. The vacation kingdom of the world. Oh, I love it. It looks like stickers. Yeah. Wow, those are like stickers that'll never come yeah, off. Yeah, and then right? it goes with those those pants over there. Oh, and it's a Not skirt. those. Oh, that's a Whoa. skirt. I think it's so strange they have these like the 15 year merch. Yeah, because that's it's the 50th, <laughs> so they're having Careful. They're thing. having merch for every celebration that they have. I know, I just think it's it's funny like I don't I don't know, I just think it's funny. I think and it's you cool. Can get your shirt. I know, yeah, I kind of want this shirt. Oh. We can get gummy orange slices. Jackson Mickey found Mouse. the Mickey Mouse main attraction from the Tiki Room, uh -huh. and he's like, I love it. <laughs> Gotta admit, it's pretty awesome. And they're playing music from the parent trap. Yeah, let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love we it. We can have a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, monorail themed lounge flies. Look at this, look at the handle, it's a monorail train. Oh my goodness. This is amazing, this is contemporary resort specific merch. Lounge fly merch and the lounge fly ears. Oh, that's fun. Did you it's see like the a, handle? Yeah, it's like a almost like a bowling ball bag though. Right? It's awesome. Heck yeah, contemporary bowling shirt. This is great. How much is this thing? Eighty-five dollars. Woo! I, I leave your site for one second, and all of a sudden he has a bubble one. Wow, bud, that's pretty neat, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going right across the way. We just came out of BBG, and we're going into. Fantasia. As it turns out, we're heading to the market. I think this one's called Fantasia Market, and this is where the Magic Band Pluses are. Uh, and this is also where we're going to get our drinks. Well, it's interesting that they're not in the gift shop, that they're right. in like the sundry store. That is weird. I thought he oh, ran right into it. He just like hit it. He thinks he can climb this pole. <laughs> He's climbing it right now. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. This I, Mickey's outfit here. He looks great. Oh, so does Minnie. Wow. Oh, here we go, some Cinderella trivia. What are Cinderella slippers made of? What time does Cinderella have to leave the mall midnight? Leave the mall, leave the ball. What does the fairy godmother make into a coach? What are the names of Cinderella's stepsisters? Who helps Cinderella make her pink dress? In the animated feature, which shoe does Cinderella lose? Ooh, her left shoe? All right, we're picking out a Magic Band Plus for Jackson. Which one do you want? This one. You want the black one like Daddy? Are you sure, or do you want your purple one? You pick these out first. You, you sure? Well, don't hit it, don't hit it, bud. My goodness. We gave him one one tiny bit of sugar tonight. Pretty great, because every time the monorail comes through, he goes, bye bye <laughs> And he yells bye bye at the monorail. Oh, I didn't know they had like a contemporary dress. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. They have a contemporary shirt and everything. That's so interesting. Like that, a bowling shirt. That goes like so well with the room. It's sort of like retro. Right? Wow. What is this? Oh, it's a puzzle. That's fun. Fort Wilderness, the Polynesian, and the Contemporary. Look at this orange bird Rice Krispie treat. It's so cute. Also, he looks like he's seen some berries. Oh yeah, an orange bird caramel apple. With where are those original? Yeah, and then this guy. You want to try a cupcake? Buddy, you are being wild right now. We're not going to give you any more sugar. We got Jackson a little Magic Band Plus, and it is, it's do, like I'm updating it right now, and I didn't get to see all this cool action because I was out in the sun when it was happening. Doesn't it look like Simon? Yeah. Like, bee boop, bee boop boop. All right, so Jackson just had his shower, got on his little pajamas, his dinosaur pajamas, and now... Why, why is it very up? Why is it very up? Yeah. Oh, the clouds, the clouds, you mean? That's a storm, buddy. Do the cars? There the are cars, buses. yeah. Why can't we, why can't we reach the cars? Because we're up high. <laughs> we're on the seventh floor, buddy, and they're on the ground. Do you see the sunset? Look at the sun's going down right now. Where'd the sun go? Do you see the little little half circle right there? The dome? It's the very red, tiny. The orange dome? Do you see it's going down right now? Daddy. You see it? You see it? You can see it better right here. Do you see it right there? Oh, yeah. And there's rain next to it. Yeah. 
And then we can see the castle. Oh my goodness. The fireworks are going to look awesome from here. And we can see Tron. There's Tron. Right next to the fish. Oh, oh yeah. They're going to go off in like an hour. It's going to be a while before the fireworks, but... Oh no. You thinking about it? Are you very tired? No. Not yeah. Yet. Not Look at yet. the beautiful candy. Cotton candy. Oh yeah. Oh, the sun's gone. Look at that. Uh oh. The sun's Got gone, a nice bud. Little sliver. Where did the sun go? It went down for the night. Yeah, the moon's going to come out now. Why did the moon go? Where's well, the moon? When the out? sun goes to sleep, the moon comes out. I don't see the moon right now. We'll have to wait till it comes up. But this is such an awesome view. Is it going to sleep? Is the sun going to sleep right now? Yeah, the, the sun is right going now. to sleep. Which what? means you what? have to go to sleep. Going? They're going to go, maybe they're going to go to dinner. Maybe they're going to go back to their hotel room and go to sleep. Yeah, it's bedtime. Everybody's going to sleep now. Alright, so now that we've seen the sunset and it's time for bed, we're putting Jackson's inflatable bed rails on this bed. Jackson's helping. <laughs> So you just put this under the fitted sheet, but Disney hotels don't have fitted sheets. So you just have to make sure that you tuck the sheet under the bed. But it basically is just kind of creates like a little area where they can't roll over and fall off the bed. Yeah, so now he has like a nice little like... Yeah. But yeah, he'll have like the most snuggly, comfortable sleep of all. Here's something that's kind of a little bit aggravating, and I don't know how they would ever plan for this, but... The cord for the magic band is not long enough to reach the top up here while it's plugged into this USB. There are other USBs around, but because it like lights up green while it's charging, I wanted it kind of off to the side so that we could not be distracted by the green in the middle of the night. So I was putting it over here. That's it. It's just kind of hanging there, which is fine. It can just hang and charge. Oh yeah, all the lights are on at Magic Kingdom. And the electrical water pageant is out on Seven Seas. I can hear it but I don't see any lights on on it. There we go, now we can see some of the parts of Electrical Water Pageant. We can see the whale, see the turtle. I feel like we can see a little bit of the dragon maybe. Oh, the octopus. I had always heard somewhere that Electrical Water Pageant was the very first attraction here at Walt Disney World because they made it before the park opened. So they brought it out to like kind of showcase some of the technology that Disney could provide while they were building Walt Disney World. So Electrical Water Pageant has been running longer than anything in Walt Disney World because it was running before the park opened. So Jackson wasn't quite asleep and the fireworks have started. So we just thought that maybe he'd want to see them. Oh, that's one of mine. Oh, that was a big boom. Why did you boom? Did you like the fireworks? Yeah. 
That was the end of them. Let me see, buddy. Is there not some more? No, that was no it. No more, buddy. There'll be more tomorrow. Look at mommy. No more. Because that was the end of the show. Why would I end up the fireworks? Oh. I don't think you wanted them to end. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. It was an 18 minute show, buddy. That is remarkably long for fireworks. There's only one longer than that, and that's over at Epcot. That one's like 23 minutes. Whoa, are you glad you stayed up for fireworks? Where fireworks go? So it's the next morning. Uh, I slept terribly. Oh no, but really? But just because of the pillow. Like, you know how you have like a special pillow that you sleep on? My pillow, this pillow is nowhere close to my pillow at home. That's a little clip. Yeah. Oh. I slept okay, but it took me a while to get to sleep because it was so cold. Yeah. And the blankets are very thin. Even with the extra blanket, it was freezing. And I also want to mention the, my hair looks crazy right now because the shampoo, it, the conditioner actually, always makes my hair so frizzy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I really love this room though. It's nice. I love being able to see the fireworks. I love Jackson, like that he got to see the fireworks. He slept really well. We have enough room to eat. We have a nice balcony. I don't know. I like the pillows. I think they were good for me, but I like yeah. the bathroom, the shower. The bathroom is the water. The water pressure was not great, but um, the shower was nice. The tub yeah. is gigantic. I didn't realize. I sat down in it last night. <laughs> I can lay down it's with my long. feet touching where the sh water comes out, and my shoulders will touch the the back of the tub. Well, I, I would totally stay here again. Yeah. Yeah. I think the food options are really good. I think that the, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to mention, the monorail. So because the monorail comes through this resort, it, it shakes the building. Oh. It feels like you're on a cruise. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Which I was like, oh, like I kind of feel like I'm on a Disney cruise. That's exciting. Yeah. So yeah. So stay tuned for tomorrow. We're heading into Magic Kingdom, which is actually today, tomorrow's video. Will be us heading into Magic Kingdom, just having a fun Magic Kingdom day. Yeah, I'm excited. We're like within walking distance. This is amazing. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.